हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम हाय गाइस आई एम सिद्धार्थ हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज मनी एंड वेलकम विद आर केयर टुडे वी आर हियर विद सिद्धार्थ to explore fulda and uh, we already roam here in fulda we came yesterday but uh, he would be the best guide because he's been staying here since more than a year yeah. and uh, he would be telling us some of the famous places which anyone wanted to come here to fulda should watch this video because he knows about those places about the story of those places very well yeah, yeah and we would be sharing those clips and how you should explore and yeah so thank you so much money uh, so guys i am uh, here in fulda from uh, around 1 uh, year and then uh, first of all i'll tell you that uh, there are like you know some places where you can visit and if you are visitor like if you are in germany and if you want to explore a place you know if you have one day left uh, or even for one day if you want to come to any place then uh, fulda would be very very nice place to explore and four places which i'm going to suggest is the uh, first one you once you come to fulda so uh, you can go to the innenstadt which is city center uh, the city center is really very beautiful uh, it is very old and one of the best part of fulda is that uh, uh, it was not destroyed in like during uh, yeah during uh, world war yeah. and that's why the buildings are really, really old, old and then you have the uh, old uh, like stones which yes. you can see you know yes. that's this is uh, not that common hmm. in lot of places hmm. but here in fulda you will get this and the building are really uh, very colorful mm. so yesterday you were already uh, here money i showed you that how colorful the buildings yes, are yes. and apart from that uh, you get really awesome restaurants here yeah. uh, like uh, for the students uh, preferably like we prefer havana bar or nearby um, we go to the irish pub so you know if if one uh, needs to like enjoy or one wants to enjoy guinness beer from uh, england so the, you know the person can enjoy the guinness apart from inan start uh, right now we are you know in just in front of close uh, like fulda dome so fulda dome is very nice and a lot of visitors come to fulda especially uh, to see the dome of fulda because bonifacio uh, you know was buried here and that's why you know it's it's a pretty very a uh, holy city for the christians as well and apart from uh, christians lot of other visitors come here yeah. and uh, we have schloss garten so uh, the third place would be schloss garten schloss garten is just opposite you know you can see so you can just walk uh, over from schloss garten to uh, this fulda dome okay. and uh, so this is the third place uh, which is uh, uh, like start schloss so apart from that we have uh, frauenberg so frauenberg uh, you will find there the cloister so you have to walk uh, uphill and uh, uh, you know uh, just going to the uh, up you will see the complete view of fulda not only fulda even uh, the whole city uh, the nearby places as well so uh, the roen beg uh, like roen mountains are also visible from that place and small winries you can find and then the church is also visible so after that we'll be going to uh, frauenberg and then on the top you have one very nice restaurant so you know you just walk uphill and after that you can enjoy a restaurant have a couple of beers so they have their own brewery uh, which is Uh, from you know their uh, yeah they they have their own brewery so these are the four places which i want to suggest and uh, and the fifth yeah. is the christmas market yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> so yesterday you were here in christmas market yeah. and we enjoyed uh, Uh, the uh, the, the wine the glue wine, wine, yeah, wine yeah the glue wine yeah. so how is your experience uh, with glue wine oh uh, i wine. always love the glue wine to be very honest and i feel uh, since i have tes- tasted a lot of glue wine so i feel every state every region has a different taste of glue wine and it's really healthy and the best part is it is only only been made during christmas yeah. so you cannot find that glue wine uh, to be there apart from the christmas yeah. and uh, it's it's a tradition here you're going to see this glue wine everyone is drinking whether yeah. it's so uh, you know it's it's a kid or yeah. uh, it's it's the old age, old people, age people or ev- right. everyone enjoys so it's healthy also yeah. actually which one by the way did you like the red one or the white i i tasted both so i really <laughs> like both of them yeah okay. yeah so this is a uh, very good this is a very small place and and the best part about the place where what i was exploring is it's not black and white i've seen the small cities uh, in germany where the people really wear black and white black and white with most of the time but here i can see all color is they wearing all red pink green and then the people really enjoy here 
and uh, yeah so this is a very beautiful place and you should watch this video if you wanted to come to fulda yeah. and explore and i think 4 5 hours would be more than sufficient i think yeah 4 5 hours uh, would be sufficient but uh, it could be a bit exhausting because you know if you're going to uh, enjoy then i would suggest that a complete day would be really awesome one night i would say and then uh, because like 2 3 hours it will take around you know just to stroll over uh, the yeah. city centre and uh, city center and then like around if you want to go to inside the church so uh, the best part of this church is that uh, you get the complete vibes as well as the uh, the design of this church is uh, from a roman catholic church so they have you know quite similar uh, like uh, the uh, design so it will take some time to you know uh, visit the full la and then i would say around a day would be uh, preferable yeah okay yeah thank you so much thank you for watching this video and if you have any question related to europe and the first related to fulda yeah. we, he would be very happy to help you out yeah, but absolutely yes <laughs> but he would be flying to frankfurt soon yeah. but still and if you have any question related to germany and related to europe for the education or for any other purpose we would be very happy to help you out thank you so thank much thank you so much thank you well. sadat yeah. thank you thank you for watching this video and in this video we are going to discuss uh, cost of studying in germany kya yahan pe study ka kya cost aata hai tuition fees kitni hai university ki cost of living kya hai rent kya hai aur kya kya expenses aapko yahan pe akar hote hain yahan pe wo hum aaj is video mein discuss karenge aur aaj hum log is wale video mein baat karne wale hain ki aap log 12th karne ke baad mein jinko bhi maan lijiye india se bhi aap log bsc nursing ka course karne ka jo koshish karte hain ki aap bsc nursing mein aa jaye उसकी जगह एक ऑप्शन है यहाँ पे कि आप डायरेक्टली यहाँ पे नर्सिंग हाउस बिल्डिंग में भी आ सकते हो वो ट्वेल्थ करने के बाद कैसे आ सकते हो क्या क्या प्रोसीजर होगा क्या रिक्वायरमेंट होगी उसको हम इस वाले वीडियो में डिस्कस करेंगे आज हम लोग बात करेंगे कि आप 2023 के इंटेक में जर्मन पब्लिक यूनिवर्सिटीज़ को कैसे सेलेक्ट करो और कैसे आप उसमें अच्छे तरीके से आप अपना एडमिशन करा सकते हैं तो इसमें कुछ पॉइंट्स जो मैं कवर करने वाला हूँ